Okay, so I'm going to try and do a little challenge for the day and just see if I can eat meals that are too cheap. Um, and I'm going to add it up and hopefully it'll be less than a pound the whole day. But I'm only going to add it up at the end just to see if what I think is cheap is actually cheap. So, I'll show you what we got for lunch. So we just got a good amount of potatoes, um, fried into chips. Last night we picked up these two sandwiches from Oleo for free. Okay, so there we go. And then this might be tipping it over the edge, but I just really want to eat some sauerkraut because it's so good for you. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't add it up to the end, but I just can't help myself. And I asked Andre to like, how many potatoes do you reckon you use? And it's somewhere between like, <laughs> um, somewhere between like 10 and 15% of the bag, maybe. And bear in mind, this is like a big seven and a half kilo bag from Lidl. So we bought it like, it will work out being cheap in the long run. But it's going to be like about 50p just for the potatoes and then we've also got oil, sauerkraut, although I do get sauerkraut isn't exactly like a super cheap ingredient, we're just trying to find like a vegan alternative to probiotic for like yogurt, um, but yeah so like oil, all that and the sandwiches were free so like I don't know how we're gonna do today on just a pound for two people, um, yeah see what we've got for dinner we did get a load of free ginger the other day that i've got in the freezer we've got like six or seven packs of fresh ginger um and we've got some bread like some sliced bread for free um yeah let's see we decided to take ourselves out for a little walk and pick some wild garlic for dinner because i don't know it's free and it's fun so um, so yeah, when collecting wild garlic, I'd suggest getting off the beaten track a little bit, so you can avoid like dog piss, I guess, um, and go for stuff that looks clean and uh, just be a bit respectful. Okay, so we just got back, so we've got three uh, little tubs of wild garlic, and we've also got um, like a two good to go box. Um, from like a little lo local veggie shop, um, so it's four pounds. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use all of that today, but I'll just show you what we've got. Um, we've already unpacked it, and I just didn't, didn't think. So we got these two pomegranates. One of them is very soft, so we're going to use that tonight. We got some blood oranges, a single pear, some very like brown uh, bananas, some very floppy rhubarb. Mm. These tomatoes, like half an aubergine, um, the two peppers, and we've still got this, the tail, and the two lettuces that are in there. So yeah, watch this space. So the plan is to make something akin to magmore. I probably said that wrong, but it's a dish from Lebanon. Um, so I've just sliced up the aubergines and put on um, allspice cinnamon, ground coriander, and some cumin, which I've bashed up in my pasta and mortar, and the peppers that we got from our Too Good To Go box. Just using up one of the onions, frying it up with about a quarter of a bag of little cherry tomatoes, two large tomatoes from our Too Good To Go order, and some cumin. I've got like a pitiful amount of chickpeas left, so I'm just going to drum them and shove them in the sauce with um, a bit of tomato puree. And, could be on it. <laughs> and then I'm just throwing in um, a bay leaf from my mum's garden. And I'm just adding in a tin of cheapest chips, tin tomato. Yeah, there's no way that we're hitting this like one pound target. Um, or maybe, because we are getting stuff, no. I was gonna say we're getting stuff from too good to go, so it's cheaper than your average supermarket. So we got half a lemon in our two good to go, so I'm going to shove that in to here. Lemon is food traditionally uses like pomegranate molasses, but I don't have that, I've never bought it because it's expensive. But we do have this date syrup that we got for free from Oreo a few weeks ago, so I've added a bit of that in. But if you don't have pomegranate molasses or anything, I've found that like chutney is really good. Um, we've used like damson chutney made from like damsons we foraged before, and it works. Really, really so I've just added in a good couple of handfuls of wild garlic, not traditional, but 
very good. So I've chopped, well I'm just chopped the pomegranate in half, so I'm just going to um, just pick some of that out. I thought it might work and be nice on top of the, everyone calls it like a Lebanese moussaka, but that's not the right name of it. I should bake in the oven, might put some on top of that, I thought that would be nice. And um, maybe put some in the crumble that they're making as a little Friday night treat. Um, but yeah, I, when I work out how much I've spent, how much these meals have cost, it's definitely going to come to over three pound, a uh, pound even. But I feel like we are eating really, really well. Like really good meals, really good food. So I'd be curious to know how much it's going to cost for all of that. Um, and I need to figure out how to do the Tudor to go stuff because obviously it's a lot cheaper to get very soft vegetables and fruit that you're basically buying off than it is to um, I like fresh produce from the shop and I would never normally buy pomegranate because it's just too expensive but it just came in a box so I layered all of that up like aubergines and then the tomato layer, aubergine peppers, tomato layer, and so on. I'm just going to shove it back in the oven. Okay, I just want to remind everyone that I live with a boy. Like, look at the size of that portion. Compared to mine, which I still feel like is quite a big portion. I've just sprinkled some pomegranate seeds and some fresh wild garlic onto that. It is really good, even if it did cost a bit more to make. So in here we've just got the limp rhubarb from Matthew Too Good To Go, uh, three just regular apples and the rest of the mincemeat from Christmas. So no sugar, just the mincemeat. And here is our very interesting crumble, so I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Yeah, if you're making a crumble, you need butter. Oil is a bit dodge. Um, but yeah, that's all we had. Uh, we didn't have any vegan butter in and we're trying to cut down on dairy. So we just had sunflower oil. Interesting. I think it will still work though. I'm very much a hodgepodge crumble for dessert. Fruit's good. We've just found some bits on Oleo, so we're gonna go pick them up. But um Maybe tomorrow we might be able to work it out as cheaper. Maybe I can average the two days um, for like two pounds each. I don't know. Um, we shall see. Um, I don't want to get my hopes up. And also it's kind of bad in this day and age where I have to rely on free food to do cheap meals. So we've got a mushroom stir fry mix, some carrot and swede, some herbs, a little herb in a pot that I'm going to try and plant in my herb garden and two things of fruit. Okay, so I'm just making us a little fruit salad for breakfast using the two fruits that we got from Olio for free and then the bananas and one of the oranges we got in our too good to go box. It's a bit higgledy piggledy but it'll do. And it's gonna be yummy. I'm just gonna chuck these in the oven to roast. So I've just got the onion from our too good to go box, half a garlic um, the ginger that we got for free the other day that was just frozen, so I grated it up, and um, a little bit of red um, cabbage, and then I'm going to add in our stir fry that we got. So I've just added in about a third of a bottle of soy sauce, um, some coriander seeds, nigella seeds, and cumin seeds, and then I'm just going to add in some peanut butter. So yeah, just going to add about a tablespoon of peanut butter in, maybe two. Okay, so I added in some peanuts into the stir fry mix. We've got um, some herbs in the roasted veg that we got for free. Um, I'm hoping this will be quite cheap because basically all the main ingredients were free. 
got my pasta on the boil. Um, I've got the leftovers from lunches, um, little roasted swede and carrot on the hob, frying in a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to make a pesto with the wild garlic, the foliage, porridge, some sunflower seeds and olive oil and maybe some other bits. Um, right, so I'm just going to shove in um, all my wild garlic. This is all free, we just got it from the booths nearby. Um, cleaned it off, made sure it was like in my section that was really far away from the car. I'm just going to add in some sunflower seeds. Probably about two tablespoons worth. Um, tablespoons worth and then I'm just going to blitz that and see if it needs anything else. <coughs> I'm going to add in like a teaspoon or two of tahini just to like bring in that like creaminess, make it a bit more creamy and then I might add in some nutritional yeast just to bring in that sort of like Parmesan kind of vibes, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to be making it too expensive um, by adding in these additions. <laughs> so I've ended up like transferring it to this little bowl just to like mix it up. I swear I need a new blender. Like this one's okay, but like I used my friend's Nutribullet once and it was like life-changing. Um, so I've added in some more olive oil just because it was not loose enough so that's probably like another two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Um, so now it's like a good consistency. So I'm just going to add some salt and pepper and just taste it to make sure it's right. Gosh, I'm hoping that the teeny didn't make it incredibly expensive and the olive oil. Let's see if I succeeded or failed. I think we all know that I failed on the first day. Um, not gonna lie, the second I realised that um, the potatoes alone cost 50p, I kind of gave up. Bear in mind, if you've seen like my previous videos, my meals tend to be around about the pound mark. We didn't have breakfast that day and jumped straight into lunch. We had the potatoes, 50p, sauerkraut, 13p, surprisingly cheap have about like 50 grams of sauerkraut and then the sandwiches were free so the whole lunch came to 60p okay so we're too good to go order is four pounds and I worked out that we've got around about six pound thirty p worth of stuff so I just um added up how much it would cost at like St Nicky's or Aldi and um divided it by six pound thirty p and came to about four so 60p for the aubergines 50p for the peppers 28p for the uh, tomatoes, 9p for the onions, 15p for the lemon, 95p for the pomegranate, and just to give you the division. Um, and then other things, um, the little tomatoes, 25p, the chickpeas, 20p, tomato puree, 20p, and the pink tomatoes, 35p, which came to a whopping £2.60. So, um, not just a failure on this challenge, but a lot more <laughs> than I normally spend on dinners. And then we also had dessert that night where we used the rhubarb and then the apples, half ripe apples for 50p, plus flour 5p and oil 7p. So the dessert was £1.25 for the whole day of dessert, which is um, quite bad, especially for us. I mean, we did have dessert and we had a pomegranate. Fancy. I mean, the food was really good. Like, we ate well that day. But considering we didn't have breakfast, quite bad. Okay, so day two, which I'm feeling a little bit more hopeful for. So, for breakfast, it was mainly free apart from the bananas. So the bananas are normally 15p, so I did my divisions. And an orange would be like 30p, so I did my divisions again. Um, so the breakfast came out to 28p, which is probably quite a lot considering most of it's free. Maybe I shouldn't have added the additions, but I just felt like we needed to like bulk it up. So 
precious and I forgot to see before I even made this food. So lunch, so I've got an onion, lime tree, kale, um, 15 key Jimmy and divisions, and then I've got half a garlic, 12 key, uh, like a 16th of a red cabbage, 5 key, soy sauce, 25 key, peanut butter, 20 key, peanuts, 10 key, and then oil, 7 key. So how much is that? Wow. Okay, so the lunch came to 94p. I'm actually quite surprised at that because like all of the main ingredients were free. Like all of the, the carb, carby bit was free, apart from like the oil we used for roasting. And the oil was only 7p for roasting. And then it's the peanut butter and the soy sauce. Okay, dinner. Pasta, 14p. Oil, 2p. Cheese, 15p. Olive oil, 50p. Tahini, 10p. And lemon juice, 5p. I forgot to mention that I put a little bit of lemon juice in the uh, pasta. So again, 96p. Um, which is mainly the olive oil. It just proves that condiments like soy sauce, peanut butter, olive oil are expensive. Although tahini is only 10p for two teaspoons. But I didn't put any nutritional yeast in. Normally I would have put a little bit of nutritional yeast in um, and I didn't do that because I was trying to save money and I thought it would be too expensive. But yeah, so the whole day came to £2.18. I mean, if we were doing like a pound challenge per person, we would have, I would have said that was a success, like 90 over, that's not really anything, but for two people, hmm, well, I guess I've learned some things, that oil, olive oil is, I mean, I already knew olive oil was really expensive, well, next time, maybe we'll have more success, I'll give it another go, another time. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Um, even though it was a failure, I hope you still learnt something and uh, enjoyed yourself. Okay.